Hey guys, we're at Challenge 5 today, and what I'm going to show you guys is how to keep your body well connected, and we're going to do two simple tests that'll show you exactly how explosive your full body is. What you, what you want, what you, what you want. twicebeat.com now it's probably a different little setting for you guys I'm wearing a hat this is the first video and maybe the only video you ever see me wearing a hat now baseball season's coming up I'm with a guy who plays baseball right now I thought I'd bring out the hat my favorite baseball team is the Chicago Cubs but my AL team is, I gotta go with the Rays I'm a big big Evan Logoria fan so I went with my Rays hat today he's probably getting a little salty right now he plays for the San Diego Padres organization and he's the guy I've been working out with and what we're going to show you guys today is a quick video, just two tests. I'm going to run you guys through two things. And it's one of the things that, that Connor and I really worked on. His name's Connor Powers. He's the first baseman. Now, when I met him, he was a really raw, really strong kid. And he just had to teach his body how to stay connected. And that's what you do when you're playing baseball. When you're hitting, you got to be in rhythm. you got to be connected. So in a lot of my videos, I talk about your stretch shortening cycle. Now, what that is, so if you're sprinting and you're, and you're running, your stretch shortening cycle at ground contact, that, that's your amortization phase. And as you're moving, you're going concentric and eccentric, just like when you're lifting. So as you're going downwards and your muscles are stretching, this is eccentric, and as you're going up, it's concentric. And if you were to pause at, at the transition, that is your amortization phase. So if you want to be powerful, you need to have a fluent stretch shortening cycle. So you have to be able to come down and up. So we're going to do two med ball toss drills. This is a 10 pound med ball. We're going to measure how far he can throw in yards going this way, and we're going to Put the two scores together and make it one total score in yards. So we're gonna go, we're gonna go. I'm gonna run down here. We're gonna measure it out. He's gonna start at the 40 yard line. We're gonna come out this way. So the first one, real quick, the first one he's gonna do, he's gonna start with the ball between his legs, just like this, and he's gonna come back and he's gonna throw it. Now when you when you guys watch how he throws, because he's not coming here and holding it and losing momentum. It's one fluent motion, and then he explodes and uses everything he can in his body to throw the ball as far as he can. So that's the first one we're gonna do. On you. Right. 19. 19 yards. Very good. Alright. 19 yards. So you guys out there, grab your 10-pound med balls. This is a little bigger, so it's actually harder because he's got to come out on the outside. We didn't have a rubber one, so we're using this one. But the first one is 19 yards. Now the second one we're gonna do, this is more to test the rotational. So he's a baseball player, so a lot of you baseball players, you're coming here and you're firing through the zone, you're using your hips, you're using your backside, and you're, and you're, getting, you're getting your swing through. And I'm gonna tell you more about what Connor's doing, because he, he put together a YouTube channel for you baseball players, for the hitters, but I'm gonna get to that in a minute. So the next test we're gonna do, he's just gonna start here, he's gonna take his load, he's gonna throw it as far as he can, and then lead with his hips to his target, see how many yards you can throw. If you're a lefty, you do it lefty. If you're a righty, you do it righty. Yep. 18 yards. That at 37 total yards between the two. That's a bomb. Kid strong. Do what I can. What can I say? Do what I can. Strong. Kid strong. Good job. Thanks. All right. So we just measured his rotational strength and how well he's connected. Now, if he were to stop and pause, he would not get nearly as far as he just did. So your score to beat, 37 total yards. I want you guys to leave your video responses, leave your comments, tell me what you guys get. And I also want to know who's your favorite team. I, I cracked out the Rays hat, that's my favorite AL team. My favorite National League team, like I said, Chicago Cubs, I, got, I love them. Been a season ticket holder since I've been a baby. So guys, if you haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description. At the end of this video, I'm going to leave you guys a link in the outro. Stay tuned for the outro. I'm going to leave you guys a link to his channel. So if you're a baseball player, you're going to want to stick around and click that because he's doing some awesome stuff over on his page on Dead Red Hitting. So guys, haven't already, make sure you click the link in the description below. Stay tuned for what he's got. I'll talk to you guys next week.